everybody rich with prep you hanging out down here still at my desk so much stuff coming across and craziness here in illinois it's just nuts but i wanted to get this video in uh we did the same video last year at this time as a matter of fact and it was what new uh illinois firearm laws are coming to you on january 1st 2022 well here we go this is the 2023 version so and this all goes back to yes and we all loved it there it is the foid ccl monet whatever they call the dang thing modernization act you know and uh yep it was all in here and it's just encompassed all kinds of good stuff and we're going to talk about the good stuff that's coming to you january 1st 2023 all right but it's not the big one the big one comes january 1st 2024 but i'm not even going to talk about that because it was just making more upset so anyhow new firearm laws coming to illinois january 1st 2023 all right first one state police shall provide a process for the automatic renewal of the foid card all right to be eligible an individual must have a set of fingerprints on file all right so obviously we all know that to get a foid card you don't have to submit fingerprints to get a ccl card you do need fingerprints well if you want to have your foid card automatically re renewed and you're not going to do a ccl card then you need to send in your fingerprints okay well you're going to ask well rich how do i send my fingerprints in well there you go each applicant for a foid may include a full set of fingerprints in electronic format to the isp unless already done so for a CCL. I just said that. All right. Okay. So these fingerprints, if you want to, if you have a FOID card, I don't know why you want to, but anyhow, must be via a live scan fingerprint vendor license by the Department of Financial and Professional Regulation. Hmm. I see a fee there that they're paying to the state of Illinois so they can be live scan fingerprint uh, vendors, right? That's, there's, I'm not even going to go there. These fingerprints shall be checked against the records held by the ISP and FBI. Well, duh, that's why you're sending you or you're sending and they're asking for your fingerprints. The ISP shall charge applicants a one-time fee. Law doesn't say what that fee is. I don't even know what that fee is because I don't have to send it in for a FOID because I already have it under my CCL. So if you want your FOID card automatically updated uh, every 10 years, you know, uh, you'll still pay the $10 fee for every 10 years until they change it again. Uh, you need to send fingerprints in. So that's one of the things that's you know, it had to be set up and it is set up. Okay. It is set up. Matter of fact, you can go to the ISP website, the fire service bureau, and please do this and double check that you have an account there. If you don't have an account there, do it because everything that is FOID and CCL based. And I know I'm going to stop right here. I know what you're saying, Rich. It sounds like you're approving this. No, I don't, I don't like the FOID card. I don't like the CCL cards. I believe in constitutional carry. I believe in the second amendment, uh, you know, no infringement and all that kind of stuff, uh, as it's specified in there. Um, but it is what it is in the state of Illinois. And until I move out, I'm stuck with it. And everybody else that lives in Illinois is stuck with it. Um, I don't like it. Uh, Supreme court has said it's unconstitutional. Uh, but held it if you haven't heard my other videos in the past about the void and about ccls and stuff like that and firearm law Oops, sorry firearm laws in the state of illinois just dropped my mic um you know that the the uh supreme court of illinois has found it unconstitutional but didn't do anything with it did not vacate it because they figured that uh the state needs to do something 
uh, along that lines. They just didn't want to kill it and have all kinds of chaos. But and the state jumped right on that, didn't they? Because that was a few years ago. So anyhow, you need to double check your account with the ISP in regards to when your stuff uh, comes up for renewal. They will send you, if you have an account with your phone number and your email address, they will send you notifications 180 days out. Okay, so, but I'm kind of going into the weeds. I'm so, I apologize. So that's uh, one of the, two of the laws. Um, also, step three, which this is kind of interesting, or law three, establishment of the firearm owner identification card review board. It's totally different. Um, it's, uh, it's in the FOID Act. It is, what is that? That's, uh, it's 14 pages long. Too long for me to go into a video right now, but I am going to go into, uh, the, uh, the firearm owner identification card review board, because that's one of the biggest things I get a lot of questions at. I get people ask me, my Ford was revoked for such and such. Now, what do I do now? And how do I do it? Well, it's all changing. Uh, you still can get a hold of the Firearm Service Bureau. You can go to the uh, frequently asked questions under denied and re or repealed. Uh, and you can check that out. There's all kinds of forms, but they're all changing. Okay. With the review board, it's a totally different thing. It's a review board instead of an individual. Um, so we'll do a video on that. But that's a, another uh, law that's coming. And then dual cards. Okay. If you have a FOID and a CCL, see the bit, last video I just did about it. And the email I got from the Firearm Service Bureau that your cards under law, 2023 will now be combined if they haven't been combined already. I know the state police kind of jumped the shark on this one to uh, get it going ahead of time, which was shocking to me because I saw a bunch of people that had combined cards with no expiration date on them. And they were all like, what? This is, you know, just check your formatted, you know, account with ISP and don't worry about that. So the rest of you that have two cards like moi, you're getting... Um, you'll be getting single cards. So um, that's it. Those are the, the three big changes uh, in the laws for January 1st, 2023. A special note, though, that I found inside the law, you can have your CCL revoked and not lose your FOID. You don't have to lose them both. Basically, it depends on what you do. Uh, and I'm sure it has something to do with violation uh, of the CCL Act. So you've got that. And like I said before, more changes coming January 1st, 2024. And you don't want to know. Well, maybe some of you do know and you're going, well, wait till then, you know. But I would just say if you want to transfer a firearm uh, and not have it uh, cost you a fortune, transfer that firearm in 2023 don't wait till 2024 so that's it uh those are the three laws that are changing and it's the uh automatic renewal on the foid card uh fingerprints uh if you want to have an automatic foid card uh the establishment of the firearm owner identification card review board those are the three main laws nothing crazy nothing nuts uh but there are changes and uh a year from now, we'll talk about 2024. Um, that's it. Hey, so thank you for watching. Appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, reach right down there. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell and you'll get more videos like this. And you can go back in our playlist because we've got tons of videos about firearm training and stuff like that. we got another firearm uh, training coming up. If uh, you ever had somebody that had problems trying to figure out which eye is their dominant eye, I've got a trick for you coming. Coming up in the next video. So that's it. As we always say, always be aware of your surroundings no matter where you're at. Please, please have enough stockpiles. Uh, so especially with wintertime coming, make sure you've got enough food in case you get snowed in or, or you lose your job or whatever else. Uh, you know, at least 72 hours uh, for bugging out. Uh, three, six, 12 months of food and water. 
uh, to shelter in place. And please, rep like your life depends on it because it does. Thanks a lot. Talk to you next time.